Hey guys, what's going on? It's Rock Jr. here. Today we're going to be watching uh, my good friend, Royal Boy Studios, uh, his name. That, that's his main YouTube channel. He has a music channel that I'm going to be reacting to. It's called Pulse Grove Music. Pulse Grove, I think. I hope I didn't say it wrong. But today, he's got a t guitar tutorial for us. And we're just going to be watching it, checking it out. And uh, seeing what it's like. Guys, if you could help him get to like 30 subscribers. He's at 22 right now. 30, 35. That'd be really awesome and really help him out. If you're into guitars, bass. You know, just kind of like learning instruments, watching people play with their instruments. And me and him actually did a collaboration videos like way back, like a few months ago. And uh, yeah, you could check that out as well on this channel. So guys, let's get into the video. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe to me as well. And uh, without further ado, let's get into it. What is up guys, Paul's Grunt Music here, back again with another video. And before we begin, uh, if you are new here, feel free to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. And also press the like button because it will really help out my channel. So in today's video, I'm starting a new instructional series on how to play. He's got a very clear and loud voice, which is good if you're trying to learn something from someone, you know, you want them to have a clear voice, and he's definitely got that, he's very vocal, and, uh, you know, he's he knows what he's doing, he's actually really talented, he knows a lot of technical and mechanical stuff about the guitar, which I wish I knew, I wish it made sense to me like that, and uh, he's he's really got a knack for it, guys. Play guitar, starting with part one. And in today's part one tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys all the different parts of the guitar and the basics of, you know, how to hold your pick, how to properly hold your guitar, how to tune, all the different parts. And at the end of this video, I'll also be showing you guys the first chord that every guitarist learns. So feel free to uh, stick around to the end of the video so you guys can learn the first chord that every guitarist should learn. All right, so the first thing I want to teach you guys in this video is how to I properly like, I like hold the precious desk. instrument. So you want your guitar to be on your right leg and your strumming hand. You want your elbow to be right here on the guitar. So you know what? Well, let's follow this. Let's follow this. I'm going to get my guitar here. Uh, which one should I? Uh, I'll, use, I'll use my next one. All right. So uh, he's, got his, he's got his strap. But I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna put it on. Yes, here we go. Here we go. So we've got my guitar. It's on my right lap, and uh, let's uh, get my pick here. All right. And uh, let, let's see what he says. So I'll just kind of, yeah. And you you want everything to feel natural and loose, whatever you're holding it, and you want your you want your strumming hand right here to just come up against the strings like this and your left hand which would be your fretting hand you want your thumb to be on the back of the neck and you want you want to either keep your left elbow sort of on your left thigh like this or just let it hang a little bit but be sure to hold it up so that you can actually play notes on your guitar because that's pretty important that's really important actually but anyways if you're standing up also, you want your guitar to be around your waistline, right here, where, you know, you want your guitar to sit up against your stomach, and again, uh, be sure your left hand, be sure to hold up your left elbow just a little bit. Everything with the right hand stays the same. And also, you want to have strap locks on your guitar so you don't drop your precious instrument, because that would suck very bad if you drop your instrument because then you'd have to either fix it or pay for a new instrument which would be even worse so yeah just have strap locks and also be sure that your strap is straight on your shoulder be sure your strap is completely straightened so that it doesn't fall off that way either and also that will keep your precious instrument safe from any harm alright now let's move on to the next instruction Alright, so the second thing I want to teach you guys is all the different parts of your guitar. So starting here, we have the tuning pegs right here on your guitar, and you have six of them. And this right here is the headstock, and this right here is the fretboard, 
and you have the neck right here. This is basically, yeah, this is basically what the fretboard is on. And this right here is the body, and this is the bridge right here. And these, on, on an electric guitar, you have pickups, but on an acoustic guitar, you typically don't have those. Um, but anyways, on this... He's, uh, he's doing a really good job explaining the guitar, because, you know, when you first get a guitar, you feel kind of overwhelmed. Like, what is all of this, you know? So, yeah, he's doing a good job explaining it. And uh, he's kind of giving, like, advice on what each thing is. So, yeah, I think he's doing good so far. Uh, Fender Stratocaster here. Um, you have three pickups, bridge, middle, and neck. And you can adjust these. Uh, you can adjust the different pickups using this knob right here. Um, so this is bridge, middle, and then neck right there. And these, this is your volume knob on an electric guitar and these two uh, knobs right here are the different tone knobs right here they, they adjust the tone on they adjust the tone of each pickup and this is the jack right here that your uh, that your cord goes into hmm. and this right here is your whammy bar you just got and a whammy bar I want right one here is the pick guard and the pick guard just keeps your by the way bro your guitar is really nice. Like, you picked a good one. She's really pretty. Pick from scratching the body of your guitar. Um, it's pretty handy. Some acoustic guitars don't have a pick guard. And you end up with all these scratches where the pick goes up against the strings. And then I don't scratches have one on the here. body. But, yeah, a pick guard. This is the only instrument I have that doesn't have a pick guard. Cards are very useful. It's probably why it has a lot of scratches getting scratched and also they look sick so <laughs> how do they do yeah that that is the second instruction and now let's move on to the third instruction of this video all right so in this third instruction here i'm going to show you guys how to properly tune your guitar and also the tuning of your instrument uh your precious instrument so the bottom string here is the low e string and it sounds just like this and the fifth string is the A string. It's just a little out of tune. The fourth string is the D string. The third string is the G string. And the second string is the B string. And your first string right here is also an E string. So these are the two uh, E strings on your guitar. And so basically your tuning is E, A, D, G, B, and then back to E. And how you tune your guitar is... By the way, a tip to remember the tunings on the guitar. So E, A, D, G, B, E. Eddie, A, Dynamite, Goodbye, Eddie. So it's like, yeah, you can use that little mnemonic device. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, Eddie, A, Dynamite, Goodbye, Eddie. So whenever you're listening to a lesson or you see tabature, just be like, okay, E, A, D. And eventually you remember, E, A, D, G, B, E. So yeah, just a quick tip. You want to have a tuner right here. It's got the same one as and, me. Uh, I like these snark tuners quite a bit. They're the uh, best. They're really nice. Uh, you can get a thing called a super snark, and that basically just drowns out all the other noise in the room besides the frequency of your guitar and it tunes it really good that way but I just have a regular snark and uh, you clip it onto your headstock just like this and just press the on button right there and it's really so amazing how tuners work snark, honestly it will tell you whether your note is sharp or flat and I'll also show you guys how to adjust the tuning pegs a little too so flat that, here yeah, your guitar is tuned properly. Too but sharp. Here is my E string, and it is just a little flat. So there we go. Uh, if you follow the string up, it it leads to this tuning peg right here. And if your string is flat, you want to tune you want to tune it counterclockwise, like this, until it's just right. And whenever Whenever your guitar is tuned just right, it will 
it will turn green right there on the top. And that one's way too flat. That's how you know if your guitar is tuned properly. And uh, the same can be done with these strings right here. This one is, let's see, this, this one's tuned just right. These strings a little flat. You gotta turn. You gotta turn the peg counterclockwise, just a little bit. Only turn it like a half turn over because if you if you crank it too much, that will shorten or lengthen your string too much, and it will break yeah. the string. And you don't want your precious guitar to be broken. So yeah, just be sure not to turn it too much. Turn it. If you do break a string, I'm not sponsored or anything. These, these are the ones to go, guys. Paradigm, Strings, Ernie Ball. These are just for electric, though. If uh, you have an acoustic, I just get some acoustic ones or just normal Ernie Ball ones. Because, like, like, it depends. Because I have, like, an electric acoustic. So I can use, like, the, the Ernie Ball ones, but not the Paradigm ones, just the normal ones. Like, the $15 ones, I think, will work. So, yeah. Also, another tip. It only a half turn maybe even a quarter turn uh, that's how much I recommend you turn your guitar um, tuning peg and for the G string it is a little flat but instead of turning it counterclockwise as soon as you make it to the G string you, you want to turn it clockwise if it's flat and that will actually turn the note sharper so if you turn it counterclockwise if you turn it counterclockwise, it makes it extremely sharp. But if you turn it clockwise, it will. Yeah. So it's telling you how how to adjust it as uh, you know, so you can get your string just in the right tuning. So if it's too low, you gotta turn it, you know, counterclockwise um, to bring the pitch up. And then if it's too high, you gotta turn it back clockwise so you can bring the pitch. Um, so you can bring it down a little bit if it's too high. Uh, turn flatter. The string will uh, be tuned down flatter. So um, the G string looks good. And uh, for the B and the high E string, you want to do the same as the G. And tune it counterclockwise if it's too flat. And tune it clockwise if it is too sharp. So, I'm going to tune my B string real quick, turn it a little bit counterclockwise, there we go, and same with the E string, it's a little flat, so turn it counterclockwise. There you go. There we go, that's how you properly tune your guitar. Now let's move on to the She's all instruction tuned. of this video. Alright, so for all of you guys who made it to the end of this video, um, the final instruction of this video is the chord that I believe every guitarist should learn first, and that chord is the G chord. So the G chord is pretty much one of the foundational cowboy chords of pretty much any song. And whenever I say cowboy chords, I just mean chords that pretty much everybody knows. It's played in every song, uh, of pretty much each genre. So uh, the, the first step in playing the G chord is using your... Uh, you know you gotta you know hold your guitar properly you gotta have your fretting hand uh, set properly you have to have your thumb on the back of the neck and so your first finger goes on the second fret of the uh, A string and your second finger goes on the third fret of the E string the low E string um, right there and then your third finger goes on the third fret of the B string and your fourth finger goes on the third fret of the high E string like that and you want to let all of the notes ring out uh, you don't want to mute any of the strings and tips for how to not mute the strings and let all of them ring out nicely is to use the tip of your finger. Um, yeah, right. you don't you don't want your fingers to be flat like this. You want you want your fingers to be standing up, like. But like, also have them relax. But just use the tips of your fingers. 
And like, um, like he's right, the G chord is pretty, um, like it's in a lot of songs. And yeah, the first chord I learned was E minor. But yes, they're, they're both very basic chords that are in a lot of songs and a lot of songs are in the key of G and E. So yeah, that works. He's right. The tip of your finger right here. Um, yes. It's going much, to hurt not really for the beginners. Tip of your finger, but just up above it, um, right before your fingernail, you want to use the pad, not the pad, sorry, the tip of your finger right there. And over time, those the tips of your fingers will calce over and it will be and it'll hurt less to play and yeah. your finger it'll hurt less will improve. yes and that will also help you not mute your strings but uh, you want to play all six strings and let them ring out uh, just nicely like that and you can do strum quarter notes and just be sure to let them all ring out. Don't mute any of the strings. And guys, trust me, I, I know how you feel right now. This is hard at first because Very hard. you know your fingers, they they're not really calced over yet. It's still still not calced over. And it does hurt really bad in the strings. They cut into your fingers right in the tips and it makes those weird lines. Yeah, I hate that. It does hurt pretty bad, but just Endure the pain for the next couple weeks and keep on practicing that G chord. Um, and it'll look like this. Uh, just be sure to keep on strumming those quarter notes with your. See, there's like a little line. Uh, strumming hand. But you get used to it. Uh, be sure to hold the guitar properly. And also, guys, um, be sure to hold your pick. I use my first finger on my right hand and my thumb I put the pick down like this on that finger and I just lay the thumb on top of it so that it looks like this and uh, be sure not to dig the pick too far into the strings because it's harder to it's harder to kind of try and get that pick all the way through um, all six strings if it's dug down you know up up next to the pickups or dug down to the point where you're hitting the pick guard you just want to have it uh, touching the strings and you can even slide it like hold it just a little bit crooked like that and just glide it across the strings like that so that it rings out and you don't mute any strings or um, it, and, or so that you don't do that either so yeah i hope you guys all enjoyed this video part one of my new guitar instructional series if you're new here uh, be sure to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss my next guitar instructional video in the next week from today and be sure to be practicing that g chord be sure to um, be sure to follow all the steps in this video be sure to hold the guitar properly be sure to know what all of your different parts on the guitar are and be sure to know how to tune. Tuning is very important. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to tune. You can turn your you can tune your guitar to like drop D tuning and all kinds of different fun stuff like that. So be sure to know how to tune and also uh, be sure to keep practicing that G chord for the next week and let your fingers callus over. And so yeah, I will I will be back next week to teach you guys a couple more chords that um, you should learn first when you're playing guitar. So yeah, I hope you guys all have a good day. I will see you guys next week. This is Paul's Grove Music over and out. Bye. Bye. What is up, guys? Paul's Grove. That was a pretty good video, guys. I I would say that um, that was a great tutorial. Um, it was an easy lesson for me because, you know, I already know pretty much everything that he explained in this video. I'm not a quite a beginner, but yeah, that was 
pretty good tutorial. If I was back when I was starting to learn guitar, that would have been pretty helpful. It's a little long, you know, there's a few lengthy bits that maybe you could have cut out or, uh, you know, condensed. But other than that, it was a pretty decent video. I, I enjoyed watching it. Um, yeah. And he's got a lot of all the right tags and everything. So, yeah, he's uh, doing really good. So, guys, make sure you go subscribe to his channel, Paul's Grove Music, if you're interested in learning guitar. Or if you want to see the video of me and him playing guitar together. Make sure you like his video. And uh, look out for his next one. I think he said he's going to release it tomorrow. So, yes, uh, yeah, you're a really good friend of mine. And uh, yeah, thanks for letting me use your video in one of my reaction videos. I, I really enjoyed it. So yeah, guys, go check out his channel, Paul's Grove Music. And also, if you're into Lego stop motions and just like Lego in general, he has a channel called Rubble Boy Studios. And um, yeah, definitely go check that out, guys. Take care. Have a great day. This has been Sorak Jr. Hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your evening, day, morning. Whatever, whatever you're doing right now, enjoy it. Take care, guys. I love you all.